Yo what's up guys it's Aptex here finally the first ever Xbox 360 emulator for Android devices has finally launched and it is the AX360E made from the same developer who created the APS3 PS3 emulator for Android and this is officially releasing on Google Play Store pretty soon the version that I have of the AX360E is the beta version testing build in today's video I'll be talking about its setup best settings as well as gameplay so before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as I'll be keeping you guys up to date with all xbox 360 emulation updates with that being said let's get started so when you open it you will see an ui similar to that of aps3 emulator if you tap on the three lines at the top right corner it will say select game directory so simply tap on it and select the folder where you have stored your xbox 360 games like i have right here i have added two games nfs most wanted as well as naruto rise of a ninja now this is the beta version so all the AAA titles i'll be talking about which ones work which ones do not work the minimum requirement and much more with all of that out of the way you guys can go to the about section after tap on update log and you guys will be able to see since when the development of the simulator was started and the recent version 0.4 that I am using has the change log such as improve the settings at virtual keyboard editing as well as multi-language support now one thing that I want to talk about is AX 360e is the fourth version of Xenia Xbox 360 emulator for Android if we go to the settings tab you guys can see all the settings are available here including Vulkan storage UI kernel video gpu xconfig etc you guys can see all the settings are as follows you can disable vsync native 2x msa has been turned on let's keep it enabled you don't really need to change all the settings you can keep it as default but when you add the emulator for the first time you won't be able to access all the settings unless you actually play a game now let's go to display and here make sure to enable full screen mode everything else will keep it as default for example Vulkan etc you don't really need to change anything once that has been done simply select the game that you want to play and now I'll talk about the games that work and the games that do not work so when you launch any Xbox 360 game inside the AX360 emulator you guys will notice that there are a lot of graphical issues so just take a look at this the graphics of this emulator are not working properly as of now and sometimes the on screen touch controls get disabled as you can see uh, it appears Yes, out of nowhere randomly so the graphical issues are present in most of the games that you try out for example gears of war halo and lot more so the games actually boot but the graphical issues are present but don't worry there are also few games that do work without any graphical issues for example naruto rise of a ninja it has some graphical issues but not unlike the previous game which you saw nfs most wanted now xbox 360 has a huge library of games such as gta 5 forza horizon forza motorsport ridge racer and lot more exclusive you titles as well like halo which all are supposed to work on our android devices in the foreseeable future but not for now in the latest beta version of aps simulator it does not work so here we are trying out naruto war of ninja and you guys can see it's pretty smooth so i'll just go ahead and choose the vs mode for a versus battle select one player and just go ahead and choose the characters that you want to fight against so here i have chosen naruto versus naruto let's see how well does this game work now there are some freezing issues here and there, there are also lagging issues that's what to be expected from an emulator that is so early in development. Xbox 360 emulation on Android was possible, we never thought so because even the main developers of Xenia emulator never worked on it. But here you guys can see we are playing Naruto Xbox 360 game on our Android devices though there are lot of graphical issues in the background, it is actually working which is really amazing. So here we go guys the round 1 begins and you guys can see for yourself the game game is running in full resolution 1x graphics but unfortunately I want to tell you guys even though the graphics are amazing you still need to wait few months until most of the games are fully playable there are performance issues for now the device which I am using has a snapdragon 8 elite processor and that's why the performance which you are seeing is at least playable in a game like Naruto but you can't expect all of the games to work like GTA 5 etc for now call of duty etc no bro none of them will actually work for now but this is very huge guys first ever working Xbox 360 Simulator for Android. I never thought the day would come, but here we are. So, what are you waiting for? Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications, comment down below which Xbox 360 game do you want me to test out, and I'll also make a dedicated setup and best setting video once the simulator is officially launched on Play Store. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.